Hazardous materials guidance is changing. The National Operational Guidance Programme is developing new hazmat guidance to bring it right up to date. Until now, hazmat guidance has been based on the nine UN transport classes, but lots of repetition made it hard to follow. New guidance will be based on the structure of the parent classification system, the UN Globally Harmonised System, GHS. This overarching system was introduced a number of years ago to bring consistency to the way different countries classify and label hazardous materials. UNGHS covers a greater range of potential hazards, simplifies the control measures to consider at an incident, and will be easier to follow. It groups the classifications into physical, health and environmental. This simple structure means the guidance for physical and health hazards is divided in a more logical way. Take physical hazards. These hazards release energy and could cause an explosion or fire, for example. The control measures we deploy are often similar, cordons, cooling and preventing ignition. Health hazards that could harm you by poisoning you or corroding or burning your skin also call for similar control measures. PPE, decontamination and containment. So instead of nine classifications, you'll now have two new pieces of guidance. Physical hazards and health hazards. This simplifies the hazards and control measures, which means you can simplify your approach to hazmat response and reduce the amount of procedures and training for your staff. The UNGHS is the way forward for hazmat classification and it's becoming increasingly embedded in legislation. So, making this change now is also future-proofing our guidance because we won't have to rewrite it again later. Your new hazmat guidance is being developed now and it'll be out for consultation in spring of 2017 and will aim to publish it in the autumn. If you'd like to find out more, there's a separate UN GHS video. To view, visit the UK FRS website. Details of future events are also available from the website. The new hazmat guidance from the National Operational Guidance Programme. Operational guidance that ticks every box.